What's up, people of the world? My name is Dave, formerly known as The Hood of Cloak, now known as... Uh... Vito One. And today, we're gonna take a look at the combiner Aninotron. Aninotron's name comes from the word Anino, which is also the name of the leader of the group of bots that compose him. And like I said in the Anino review video, Anino means shadow in Tagalog. Anino Tron's toy card is composed of Anino's Roof, Anino's Cape, two extra blades for Sindak, Cadena's Shield and the sleeve that goes along with it, two sides for Cadena's Siren Scythe, two toxic chain pieces for Cadena, a big rear door for Karo, and Anino Tron's head and accompanying sleeve. Wow, so nothing for Dilim, huh? Poor guy. So with the fully assembled Anino, Sindak, Dilim, Cadena, and Karo, they form together to make Anino Tron. Altogether, he stands at about 18.5 centimeters tall from the top of his head to his robot feet. And this is a really nice combiner. The members have their own standalone designs and personalities, but I will say they are a little bit less cohesive with their designs. But overall, I like how this boy looks. He's pretty cool. A life giving toxic splat is located on his chest plate. His shoulder mounted cannon can shoot powerful photon beams. Sindak's toxic propellers are launched from his right hand and Cadena's windshield doubles as a lethal claw. And lastly, these are his stats. And that has been Aninotron, the dark bringing titan of the Ludobots, and the first combiner reviewed for this new era of the Foldabots review show. Thank you so much for following me since my return in May. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and a subscribe would be very much appreciated. Thanks for watching, take care, and have a good one.